Hi, yogis. Welcome to Day 21 Restore. Feel free to add a layer, get cozy just for the next 10. Let's start on our backs. Good. Slowly, slowly. Come back to that Supta Baddha Konasana shape. Your butterfly legs. Good. And just pause with your hands to your hips again. Bring a big breath in. And a big breath out. Slowly close your knees like a book. Hug your knees to your chest. Good, and plant your left heel down. Find half happy baby pose on the right. So capture the inside arch of the right foot and bend and extend the leg. You can play with the extended out, maybe extend your left leg long as well. Really place your left hand way out to the side to find this barrier. So keep okay, your knees bent. Just breathe through the hip flexors. Try to melt your left shoulder down. Big breath in, big breath out. And slowly swap your palms so left hand captures the right foot. Try to extend your leg. It's okay if your knee is bent. Draw your heel towards the left side of the room. Maybe you find straight legs. Again, this time, right hand goes way out to the right. Draw your right shoulder down. Just notice how you feel. The tightness of your hamstring. Good. Sending your breath to find more length in your quads. Big breath in. Big breath out. Good, and grab for the back side of your leg and draw your knee, nose towards your knee. So lift your shoulders and draw your nose towards your knee. Just breathe here, pulling your leg up. Draw your chin towards your chest and breathe here. Bicep curl your leg in, big breath in. Exhale, lower all the way down. Good, cross your right ankle over your left knee and hug your left knee towards your chest. Interlace your palms underneath the left knee and find a tight squeeze. Now you can stay right here or hug your knee like you're cradling a baby. I'm gonna wrap your arms around your foot. So left elbow wraps around the right foot, right arm wraps around the right. Maybe you interlace your palms. Again, I like those really intense variations. So if this is too much, then come back. If you know something more intense, let me know. <laughs> Just breathe here, allow your body to be heavy. This is a great variation to help stretch for half pigeon, to open up for compass pose. And a big breath in, and a big breath out. Draw your right knee to your right shoulder, interlace your palms around the right knee and find winter moving pose. So I want you to include your thumb here. So instead of just hugging your knee to your chest, I want you to squeeze your elbows to your side. So really find compression up and over towards your right shoulder blade. It should be a tight pinch. I want you to hold for eight and six. Squeeze tight for four and one. Slowly find supine twist. Cross your knee over to the left. Send your right arm long. Good. It's not crackling, popping is normal. Uh, just listen to your body. Try to melt your right shoulder back down and rock your chin over to the right. You can tuck your right ankle underneath your left knee for a deeper twist. your shoulder, give it a little gentle squeeze, and then swap out the legs. Your right knee can start bend as you find half happy baby pose on the left. Bend and extend the leg, or extend your leg long like me. I'm already sending my right hand way out to the right to help ground down my right shoulder. Finding big toe A or C variation, or just that half happy baby. Bending and extending the leg, maybe you find a hold. Big toe C, what a reclined version would be capturing your big toes, straightening your legs as straight as they'll go. And close your eyes and a big breath in and a full breath out. Draw 
draw your left knee to your chest. Good, and swap out your leg, your arms, so right hand captures outside of left foot. Left hand goes out to the left like an anchor. You can bend and extend your legs straight up. Again, everybody is different. Listen to your body and your flexibility. It's okay if it's right here. Maybe it's here. Maybe draw your heels slightly over to the right. Yeah, it's a recline dancing Shiva variation. So your chin can wrap to your left shoulder for more support. Ooh. Breathe in and breathe out. Good, now capture behind your leg and you can stay here pulling your quad, your hamstring towards your nose or find that bit of effort to activate the thyroid. Lift your chin off your shoulders off the mat. Chin draws towards your chest. Try to find the connection, chin to chest for your thyroid and pull your forehead to your knee. Good, really frame your leg with your elbows. Find a big breath in and a big breath out. Slowly lower your head down and find figure four, supine pigeon. Cross your left ankle over right knee. Hug your knee towards your chest and find a pull, a gentle squeeze. Now you can drop your right heel if this is too much and just sit right here. Or you can find that variation of cradling your leg like a baby. Wrap your arms around your leg and really pull your heel towards your right shoulder. You can bend your right knee or extend your right leg long. Oh man, this is intense, so breathe through it. And if you have a lot of pain, or any pain really, back off, right? So listen to your body. Just breathing into the fascia, that, that strong muscle tissue, her skin, right? Just breathe in and breathe out. Slowly release your leg and, and when you're moving close. So take a moment to interlace your palms around the top of your knee. Then rather than a gentle hug, I want you to pull um, tightly your elbow, your knee towards your left shoulder. So elbows knit in, chin is tucked down, right heel is rooted down. It's a compression of the thyroid as well. It's supposed to be kind of awkward. I want you to feel that pinch and hold for eight and six. Just four, three, two, supine twist. Good, finding that compression helps our digestive system, right? Squeezing the A and descending colons. Just rinsing and rip, so we can repeat for day 22. Left knee across, draw your chin towards your left shoulder. And just close your eyes. Option to send your left ankle underneath your right knee. For a deeper twist. Big breath out. Slowly hook your knees to your chest and just rock and roll, grab beneath your knees three times. To hear most pills, we'll end with these three postures. So find a tall seat for heroes. Send your arms overhead for half tortoise. In prayer, grab it, interlace your thumbs. Inhale, biceps by the ears, lift your gaze. And with your um, face framed by your arms, slowly bow your torso all the way down. Maybe your forehead is the last to arrive. Once you arrive, swim your pinkies forward as if you're diving into a pool. Your elbows stay lifted. Forehead can draw towards the mat, but it's okay if it doesn't touch. Just really find traction of your spine. So point your fingers down and send your tailbone down and back. They say this equivalent, uh, 30 minutes in this posture equals nine hours of sleep, I guess. So one wise yogi once said. So regardless, it's very restorative. Another variation of child's pose. Breathe and reach, breathe and reach. 
Now slowly engage your core, keep the grip. Inhale, lift your arms. Eyes come with your arms up. Exhale, release your arms. Good, rise to your knees, send your palms to your low back. Good, show you my cool shirt, I like this yoga shirt, it opens up in the back. Palms to the nape of, to the low back, so fingertips are down. You can tuck your toes for more support or place a block between your thighs. Inhale, lift through your heart, elbows tuck behind your torso. Lift your heart, lift your gaze. If you're feeling safe and confident, to drop your right hand to your right heel and left hand to left. Continue to drive your chest, your rib cage up. As slow as you can down, come back up. One hand to your back, other hand, then come back down to your heroes. Our last posture here before child's pose, rabbit pose is a counter stretch, a camel. So send your palms straight back. So your thumbs are facing down and capture the outside edges of your heels. I love this stretch because it opens up your shoulders. Tuck your chin to your chest. Find that compression of your thyroid. Good, that helps increase your metabolism, right? Then slowly continue to hold your heels and bow the crown of your head to the mat. So you want the very top of your head, maybe where your high pony is, to touch. You may need to adjust. Then lift the hips. So your hips are going to stack above your knees. So as you pull your hips, trying to stack them, you're holding on to that grip of your heels, really finding super duper length through the shoulders. Pull, pull, pull. One more inhale. And exhale, find a tall seat. But if you're struggling to breathe, it means you're doing it right at small sips of air. Well, I think child's pose. Hands to heart to seal your practice. The light in me honors the same light in you. I bow to you. Namaste. Find child's pose, knees out wide, arms long. And bend your elbows, palms to the nape of your neck if that feels okay. And just find a moment, find a moment to thank yourself for your journey, for your commitment, for your breath. Find that honest, good thing in your life, that good opinion of yourself.